you can go down there to Darlington and I think you can go out there and run 500 miles by yourself. And if you don't hit the wall, you accomplish something, you know, because that place is a tough track. And then that was the last Southern 500 on Labor Day weekend. And I remember running that race and there was a, Bill Elliott was running well also, and, and we were running well. And I thought, you know, it'd be nice if one of us won this race being the last Southern 500 on Labor Day weekend, because we know more about the history of this race than, you know, most of these other guys in the event. It was a hot day. Darlington's always a slick track and the tire wear is uh, pretty bad. You know, your tires are usually wore out in about a lap and a half, it seems like it. So your car really has to handle good. It's a track that, you know, you can always you know, have to stay on top of your adjustments. You know, so probably in this last run here, we probably adjusted the air pressure just a little bit. You know, we were really good in long runs, and this, this last run here wasn't gonna be as long as the rest of them, so you typically would go up on your air pressure just a little bit. Pit stop was just awesome to come out first like that, to pick up a couple spots there. And on pit road, I was just relieved that we won, you know, again. It's been a while since we'd been in victory lane, and so it was just nice to, uh, nice to win. I didn't do any donuts, because I, I don't know how, and Darlington has always been kind of a special place for me. I ran my first race there and got my first win there and my last win there. It's just one of the coolest tracks on the circuit, I think, and definitely one of the toughest. And I hope they don't ever redo it. I hope they don't ever change it and make it into something other than what it is because it's, it's Darlington.